James G. here. On this episode of Persona Studio One series, uh, I'm going to discuss basic automation with you on, on a track. So what is automation? Well, sometimes you may want to have volumes go up and down or panning to go left and right uh, in certain areas of the song. And you can actually, with software, you can automate and it does it on its own. You know, in the old days when I was learning on an analog track, it would be a bunch of us would, during the master, would pan stuff or we would change the volumes and that's how you would do it but now you can automate all that stuff and studio one actually makes it really really easy so i've got a little guitar track here that we had done from another recording and uh i'm going to show you there there's two basic ones there's panning which means going for, whether it's left or right speakers and then you have your volume so right up here this is the block where you would change the colors for your track all right underneath it's this little bar line kind of z on its side thing and you will hit that and that expands your envelopes so here you have your volume one and here you have your pan one so the volume one is showing right here this is at zero db so that means that this track here right so as i move this fader you'll actually see that move as well so let's say i want to have this particular part right here in the middle just drop volume. So I'm going to hit there, and I'm going to hit two spots there. Now, if I want to take that as a direct kind of a rectangular shape, you can see if I I will hover right above that line, and you'll see kind of this, uh, this uh, I, you know, H-looking thing sitting right there, and you can just push that. And now I can push and pull all, and then this will automate it. So now I go back here, and you'll listen to the volume, and it'll drop on its own. And then it's going to come up on its own. Okay, pretty drastic, but that was just to prove a point of um, how you would do that. So, and can I do something here and move this around? Absolutely. You can do whatever you want. So every time that you click, it's going to give you a new circle to give you a new uh, part to mess with, basically. And so it, sometimes it can take a little trial and error. You can go on here and hit delete to get rid of, oh, oops, I accidentally put one there, or whatever. Um, now... Most of the time when I use this, it might be because like a lead guitar section, I just want to bring up a little bit. Um, so, you know, it, it higher in the mix and then let the rest of it go back down. There's a million reasons why to use this. Um, because a, a simple fade in or a fade out, uh, you actually can just do simply on the track itself. And I'll show that in another video. So panning works basically the same way. Let's say, okay, I want, uh, I'm going to start it over here. I'm going to raise this one so now I've got it going all the way from left to the center speaker and then from here I'm going to have it go from the left to the right speaker and now you'll hear it pan from one side to the other. So there you go. So what you can do is you can set up different volumes and you can set up different pannings. Now every track that you have will, will, will do this. And you can see now that I've made some sort of a change on it, this has gone from auto to read, which means it's going to read uh, what, was, uh, what was put there. Um, so really simple to do. Uh, I use it quite often. Uh, a lot of times I might, you know, if there's a solo break or something, I might pan it to the center. Or if there's a cool effect, I want to go from one speaker to the other, changing volumes. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. And every track has its own little envelope that you can pull down for these. And then when you're done with that and you think it's set, you can just close it back up so it doesn't get in your way of everything else. And that is how you can add your basic panning or volume automation.